move over to Google and Airbnb. One technology company is joining the World Economic Forum's list of technology pioneers, and that is Uptake. Recently secured $117 million in venture funding at a more than $2 billion valuation. Joining me right now is uh, uh, the CEO of Uptake and the co-founder, Brad Keywell. Brad, great to see you. Thanks so much great for joining to see us. You, Maria. Thanks What's for happening me. here in Davos, and tell us how it relates to Uptake. Well, look, Davos is about making the world a better place. That's the theme that I'm, I'm observing and experiencing. And, and what I'm hearing around technology is that it's time for technology to address problems of consequence, not just problems of convenience. And especially at an industrial perspective, there's a need for technology to unleash more productivity, more, uh, more reliability, and fundamentally more safety. So really there's the opportunity today right. that didn't exist before for technology and software to be a factor in making the world truly a better place. How do you do that? I mean, Uptake is really taking information data from machines and trying to apply it to do just that. Tell us what Uptake does. Correct. Well, look, we believe in a world that works, that works at its best and that always works. And so what we're doing, for example, in the world of solar turb of, uh, of wind turbines is we're using our software to help Berkshire Hathaway Energy make sure that the turbines are generating maximum capacity of output. And what that looks like in real terms, to give you a sense of magnitude, if all of the turbines in America were optimized with software like Uptakes, you would have enough additional energy to power all of the houses in Chicago. Wow. And that's without building any more turbines. So software holds the keys to more productivity, more reliability, and fundamentally, a better world. So is your cu customer largely a corporate customer? Our customers are major companies, and we're currently in eight industries, locomotives, aviation, manufacturing, and one of them is energy, oil and gas. Yeah, because they need to see that data and mine that data, or you're mining that data, to actually be put to use. Yeah, the way I say it is that there are nerve endings on a, on a body, and, and we get signals from our nerve endings. Well, in industry, the nerve endings are sensors. And what the industries need now is a brain to take the data from these sensors and to convert that into insight. And the insight makes the front lines of industry better and smarter, and it makes us a more productive and reliable world. Wow. Brad, we'll be watching the developments. Thanks so much for joining Thanks us. Thanks for having me. So appreciate it. Brad Keywell joining us. Uptake.